Hi YouTube family, it's your girl Melissa from Hair Behavior. Um, a lot of you guys know um, that are following my channel or my social media know that I recently um, graduated hair school. Thumbs up for me. Um, just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about my experience and you know being my age and going back to school. So I will be 40 this year in October. I know I don't look it. <laughs> Good jeans. Anyway, um, I'll be 40 this year and I recently just graduated. When I said recently, like June the 19th was my last day, I believe. Um, took my state boards, took the theory and the practical and passed both. So I'm just waiting for my license. So I am hitting the ball running and I'm so excited to be um, in this industry. Anyway, um, just to talk about my experience with hair school, I was very fearful of going back to school. A lot of us are. I felt like I was too old. Um, I didn't know if I was going to be in there with a whole bunch of teeny boppers. I didn't know what to expect. But I was at a point in my life where I needed a change. You know, I've been in the corporate world for a while. Um, insurance, I've raised kids, you know, I have three of my own. I've raised my children. So I'm like, okay, what am I going to do for the rest of my life? What is it that you want to do, Melissa? What do you want to do? And I've always wanted to do hair. I've always wanted to empower women. I've always wanted to give back to women, people, not just women, men, people. Um, you know, make people feel beautiful. That's what I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to beautify you or help you find your inner beauty in any type of way. So, and being stuck behind a desk and computer and cubicle, that wasn't cutting it. So, and it was a great, I mean, walked away from a great job, great pay, great benefits. Like I said, I raised three kids, had a husband. How do you walk away from that? It was very fearful. I was very, very fearful. But I got to the point where I was going to work. I wasn't happy. I was sitting in the parking lot having to get myself pep talks. Find myself drinking a little bit more, you know, just to get through the day or whatever. And I'm like, this is not me. This is not who I am. Blood pressure was going sky high. This is not what I was put on earth for. This is not my destiny. This is not what brings me happiness. This isn't what makes me complete. Well, what does? Ding, 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 ding. Beautifying, hair, cosmetology. So that's what I decided to do. My husband said, okay, that's what you want to do. I got this. You go back to school, do what you do. I'm like, I don't want to go to school for a year. That's a long time. You can't get to step B until you complete step A, right? So, okay, I enrolled in school, and then another thing. I'm a person that I will sabotage my thoughts all day, every day. The what-ifs will, will get me every single time. So, I got all psyched up, quit my job, got all psyched up, enrolled in school. And then I speak to the enrollment specialist, and I'm like, okay, what's the age range of people that are there? You know, because when I enrolled, I was 38. I'm like, am I going to be the oldest person there? Am I the youngest person there? You know, and then I said, you know what? Mr. Roman Specialist, don't tell me. I don't care. I'm at this point where I just want to do it for me. So he didn't tell me. And I was, that night before I had to go to school my first day, I was like, like a little kid. Okay, I'm nervous. I'm excited. Walking to school and it's, it's a whole variety of women. You know, and a guy, a couple of guys, variety of people, um, different ages. And I was, I felt comfortable because I was in my element. This is what I wanted to do. So it didn't matter if I was the oldest or the youngest. It didn't matter to me. Because this is what I wanted to do. This is what brought me joy. This is what made me happy. Um, but I will tell you though, that year was a long year to get through beauty school. Uh, you know, and I forgot being in school, being in any kind of environment with females. We can get a little catty. So there were days I forgot what my purpose was. I forgot the road that I started out on. You know, the bigger picture. I got caught up in the little 
just a little of the beauty school drama but you know I had to quickly snap out of it and step away from it and then remember why am I here I'm, I'm only here for a year so I need to soak up all this knowledge that I need to in a year you know the fear went away really really quick I stepped into it I got it done I studied like I was supposed to study I started getting back on my purpose I started going to extra classes I really buckle down because this is um, there's no time for playing this is what I wanted to do so to all of my people that are men women whatever if you feel like you're too old to start something new you're not you're not you're never too old what did Aaliyah say age is nothing but a number and that's true you are as old as you feel like I said I'll be 40 this year it was very scary to start into it and a whole new career but you don't know how you're gonna do unless you get out there and do it. And I'm just beginning, like I said, I haven't even got my license yet. It's in the mail on its way to me. So but I've already started my little website. Haven't it's not completely up and running, but I've already branded myself, got my cards and got I did all this stuff while I was in beauty school. So when I tell you I have a mission, I have a mission. So once again, this video is just to inspire someone, you know, if you are thinking about going back to school for anything, not just hair, but for anything, and you are feeling a little worried about your age, you're feeling a little, you know, fearful, just do it. I mean, you're not going to be happy until you, you do it. Because like I said, my heart was always with hair. My heart has always been helping people, <clears throat> beautifying people. When I was stuck at the corporate job behind the desk being told when to go to lunch when to take my breaks like i said the pay benefits were awesome great but it, it wasn't what i wanted to do for them. i didn't see myself being there for another five years no ma'am i could not do that so before you wither away or get comfortable where you at step out your comfort zone you never know what makes you happy until you do it okay so enough of the cliches but i wanted to tell you guys i'm so excited i did graduate like i said um took my practical in nashville not no not that knoxville passed it so i'll be in y'all's head soon beautifying your heads hair behavior will be up on the come up i'll do a different video showing you guys about my YouTube startup, or not my YouTube startup, yeah, YouTube startup, company startup, so be looking out for me, and yeah, love you guys, have a great day.